Behind me is my 2022 Tesla Model X Long Range and unlike the Model 3 and the Y, the X does come with a key fob and in this video I'll show you guys all of the features that the key fob has. Here's the key fob. You can see it's like a little Model X. I have the cover on it I got from Tesla. The first feature it has is I can just simply put the key in my pocket and I can just walk up to the Model X. I have Bluetooth off on my phone so the phone key will not work. I push the button on the door it will open i can get in and push the brake it'll close the door for me i can then type in the pin and now the model x is ready to be driven just like that whenever i arrive to my destination i can just put it in park push on the button close the door walk away from the model x and you can see without me doing anything the car will automatically lock so if you want to unlock it using the key fob all you do is you double press the top it will end up unlocking it you can see the mirror is unfolded if you want to lock it you press it once and that will end up locking the model x you can double press the back and that will open up the lift gate okay you can press it again double press it will close it you can press it once it will stop it and then you can press it again double time it will continue closing it. The same back button, if you hold it, it will actually open up the charge port. I have tried pressing it once. It still does not end up closing the charge port. So let me know guys how you can close it. But all I do is I come to it and then it kind of closes it like that. So the side of the Moto Legs key fob, if you look here by the windows, are actually the buttons to control the Falcon wing doors. Let's say I want to open up the driver's side Falcon wing door. I just double press this and it will open it up. If I want to open up the passenger side, I press this other side twice and it will end up opening the passenger side Falcon wing door. I can press it twice again. It will end up closing it. I can press it once it will end up stopping it pressing it twice it will go ahead and continue closing it just like the lift gate you can stop it at any time you can also press three times on the top of the key fob and that will close every door just like that i'll also lock it this key fob is actually super smart so i'll have it in my pocket let's push the button on the door it'll open up and then let's go over to the settings over here and then go to locks. So we can have it walk up on lock. So if I have this on. You can see it's about to lock. Now if I walk having the key in my pocket, it's actually going to unlock. As you can see. The next one here is the automatic doors and also close all with key fob so you can see it was triple click to close it but if you have this on even a single click will also end up closing all the doors and also locking the car let me show you what the automatic doors are if i go and press twice on the top of the key fob it will unlock the model x pressing it twice again opens the driver door and there is sensors in them so if it detects something next to it it won't open that far pressing it again it will open the passenger door Pressing once will close it. So let's try and see if the sensors will detect me if I'm here. So pressing it twice unlocks the car. Pressing it twice opens the driver door. Pressing it twice. Let's see if it hits me. Yep, it definitely hit me. Got the Model 3 there. Okay, it did not hit it. Now with the key in my pocket, I'm going to walk up towards the Model X. And it will end up opening the door for me. I can then get in, push the brake without touching the door, type in the pin, swipe up to go forward, swipe down to go reverse, put it in park, push the button, the door opens, I walk away without me touching the key. You can see the driver door ends up closing and the car locks. I'm going to try walking up towards the Model X and this time I'm going to be in front of the door. Let's see if it actually hit me again. Oh, there you go. As you can see, it detected me and it did not end up opening rest away. 
So I have to do that myself. You can also set that key fob to be part of your profile. So that way it automatically knows driver for this key fob. So once you come to the car with that key fob, it will set up your profile as you can see. Now let's open up the Falcon wing doors, the driver door, the passenger door, lift gate. If I press the top once instead of three times because we have that setting on, it will actually close every single door. Now, if you have watched the delivery day video, my Model X driver's side Falcon wing door does have an issue. So I have booked a service appointment on it, but now if I do it one more time, press it once, it will close the rest away the second time. And then as you can see, it'll lock the door. Now pressing the front of the Model X key fob twice, it will pop the trunk. Then you can just walk up to it. It's pretty light, lift it up, put your stuff in here, and then you can simply slowly put it down and put pressure on these two edges and you can close it. Just like that. One thing I don't get about the Model X is everything is automatic. The lift gate, the Falcon wing doors, the driver door, the passenger door, the charge port, everything is automatic except the front. I have seen on the Tesla's tutorials where if you hold the top of the key fob for like three seconds, you could use front and the rear buttons to summon the car. My car does not have the full self-driving option and I cannot demonstrate it. I'm not 100% sure if the holding three seconds the top and then using the front and trunk button will actually end up uh, summoning the car. If you guys have the summon feature, uh, let me know if you do that, will it actually summon? Now I'll show you a rear angle. Even though the one press top will close every door, I will press it three times now. And you can see, it still does it. And there goes the Falcon wing door issue. Three presses, just like that. The Falcon wing door is actually pretty smart. So let's see if it will hit me. It is not opening, let's step away a little. A bit more there we go let's see if it'll hit me so far pretty cautious and there we go so it definitely detected me the doors are pretty smart on this model x let's see if it will close there we go i guess we're lucky on this one but yeah my falcon wing does have an issue you can see it seems like the headliner is actually rubbing and that's why it does that. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Don't forget to let me know in the comments below what kind of videos you guys wanna see. I'll see you guys next time.